all right my people welcome back to this channel and thanks once again for subscribing well still on the matter a well-known nigerian politician and presidential aide reno omokri has given 10 good reasons has given 10 solid reasons why the all progressives congress presidential candidates will not win the 2023 presidential elections well the news in details former presidential aide and politician Renu Omokri has stated that Bola Tinubu of the All Progressives Congress will not win the 2023 presidential elections. He took to his Instagram page to review 10 reasons why he believes Tinubu doesn't stand a chance. And he wrote 10 reasons Tinubu can't win in 2023. The first one is he's a known drug lord hey this one is capable enough to land someone in trouble recall the news that read tinubu in trouble as nigerian signed petition for criminal review of his alleged drug dealings in the u.s hmm hmm this one is not good to be known of someone that wants to be a nigerian president now the second one is he is running in a Muslim Muslim ticket. Ha. Most Nigerians doesn't seem to be happy about it and it could stand a good chance. It could stand a chance to disqualify him. Who knows? The third one is he is running with a suspected Boko Haram sympathizer. The fourth one is his parentage age and lineage are in doubt there was an article i um i read and is a report made by david hundain that's i'm trying to expatiate on this fourth one which says his parentage age and lineage are in doubt there was an article i read and is a report made by david hundain who is a journalist the article is very long very very long and in the article like i scan through and in the article it was written that tinubu's existence is puzzlingly mysterious as it's loud and public it says um for at least 30 years bola ahmed tinubu has been at or near the grinding face of frontline politics in nigeria yet Yet, a peak one inch below the surface reveals how little is actually known about the man who some say is Nigeria's president in waiting. First of all, there is the age controversy. No one actually knows how old Bola Ahmed Tinubu is. Like many Nigerians born into the less than auspicious circumstance that characterize his childhood in Iraq, BG, Ocean State, he himself may not know well what this article is, is still trying to say is there is a kind of doubt surrounding tinubu's age his parentage and the rest but come to think of it i don't know how true this report is because how on earth can someone not know his age he's not normal he's not normal at all now the sixth one is the fifth one rather he was involved in the lekki massacre of 2020 oh this is another serious allegation that lekki massacre is 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 really touching and i mean it is it is out of the norm for people to be killed simply because they are fighting for their rights and they didn't come with any weapon they they came armless it was kind of a peaceful protest they didn't come with any weapon or arm it was a peaceful protest rather it was a simple peaceful protest that was not originally intended to be violent but at the end what happened hmm may god save us now the sixth one he lost is his own home state to the pdp yes um 
the election that was recently conducted in Ocean states the results was announced by INEC and the result declared Senator Adimola Adeleke as the winner who was running for the post of the governor on the platform of the People's Democratic Party and he won the election against his opponent Boyiga Oyetola under the APC party. So according to Reno Omokri, that could also stand the chance to make him lose the 2023 general elections and now the seventh one is he is involved in a legal dispute over alpha beta the eighth one is his region social cultural group afanifere are against him hmm very serious now the ninth one is he is seen as an architect of the buhari's administration and lastly, according to Reno Mokri, he said his wife openly said, Ibo, we know they trust Una again. Ha. Okay, so moving on with the above reasons, the 2023 elections are just a formality. Atiku will defeat Tinubu, no arguments. This has sparked several reactions from Nigerians and they commented on social media well according to Brennan Mokri, he believed that these 10 reasons are capable of making it impossible for Tinubu to win the elections as usual Nigerians are very good at commenting on things like this and they didn't disappoint the around as they gave their comment well there's this one that caught me there is this one that caught me someone actually commented on that um instagram message and his own cost me he kind of like restated everything the reno more created he even added an extra well let me take my time to read it he said the first one his home state has remained 25 to 27 in the last 20 years in the wire ranking the second one his home state has remained 26 to 28 years sorry has remained 26 to 28 in the last 20 years in on economic indices ranking the third one is he does not have the support of the first runner up of the pdp primary elections that's governor wiki the fourth one is he does not have the support of the arewa elders forum the fifth one is he fielded a vice president that was against the choice of the pdp governor still on the matter of the muslim muslim ticket the sixth one is he deleted a tweet condemning the killing of a christian in sokoto over threat of losing votes the seventh one is he currently lives in dubai and does not share the pain of an av of an average nigerian hmm really serious what we nigerians are passing through right now especially in the in the situation of how the economy is 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 is, is bad i mean i don't even know how people are going to survive because things are becoming really expensive it's becoming really expensive beyond control and my god honestly is it's it's not good so this person that is actually saying tinubu should maybe he's not living in dubai so he won't have an 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 inkling of what an average nigerian passes through the eighth one is he's believed to be a major importer of generators in nigeria so we're not here to fix the power sector you know electricity in nigeria is also another issue is not stable at all i mean like compared to other african countries nigeria cannot boast of a constant and stable electricity supply that's really bad the ninth one he did not show equity and fairness to the south who ought to put forward a flag bearer after the current two-term northern leadership the tenth one he bribed heavily to secure his party ticket at the primaries and we all know what that means 
account must be balanced at the detriment of the Nigerian populace. And he still added Jara. That's the 11th one. <laughs> he said he still needs to clear his name in the United States of America over money laundering accusations. So this person actually kind of restated everything and then brought out his own. His own is actually 11. Well, do not forget to like, subscribe, and then turn on your notifications for more news updates from us. Thank you.